Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my September empties. I have so much in here, so I have a feeling it's going to be a longer empties video, but I do want to get a few things out of the way first. So first off, I did get a haircut. Um, I cut off about three inches, and then I got some front layers, which is, this is what I usually do about every six months, um, but I was definitely supposed to have my hair appointment in August, but kind of delayed it until uh, the first week of October, so... But yes, I did get a haircut and also I am not wearing any face makeup because I went to the dermatologist recently and he said, you know, if I do want my skin to get better quicker um, and to get rid of my acne that's on my face um, to try and not wear makeup. So I have been trying to not wear face makeup. I'm still wearing like eyebrows, mascara and stuff, but just not any concealer or anything. So please don't comment and say mean things please. Um, but I did do like under eye concealer because I'm not about to have bags under my eyes. But yes, so just getting those out of the way and then I will, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys my Halloween nails because they're so freaking cute. The thumbs are just black, but these are um, press-ons from Walmart. I'll link them down below if you're curious. But let's go ahead, now that we got all that out the way, um, let's go ahead and get into the empties. So let's start off with the like coolest stuff first. So I did finish off four full-sized candles. The first one is mint chocolate chip milkshake. And this one is the one that like came without a lid and stuff. But honestly, you guys, it smells amazing. It gives me peppermint marshmallow vibes from um, last winter. Mm, it is so good. It has that creamy marshmallow scent with a little bit of like the chocolate chip. Oh, I absolutely love this. I love these kind of like milky milkshakey marshmallowy kind of scents that's really what it smelled like to me the scent notes are vanilla mint ice cream chunky chocolate chips and whipped cream yeah it honestly smelled like peppermint marshmallow to me with like a little bit of chocolate so so good absolutely amazing we'll definitely get this again and i am absolutely going to get peppermint marshmallow again if they bring it out the next one i finished off is basil green tea this one was kind of an unusual one i don't usually go for these kind of like basil fresh greenery scents the scent notes are fresh picked herbs, refreshing green tea, and touch of lavender. My mom hated this scent. Um, so I actually brought it over to Ryan's and burned it at Ryan's, which was a really good like um, kitchen scent because it kind of gets rid of odors and then it just smells like fresh. So it wasn't bad, but definitely not a scent I usually go for. And I probably won't get something like this again, but I am going to save this lid because this is gorgeous. It's the sunflower lid. So pretty. And then I also finished off another one from um, the end of summer and that's champagne toast. I picked this one up at SAS and the scent notes are not on here because I think this is actually a candle like not from the US. I think this is maybe like a Canada candle, but you guys know what champagne toast smells like. Mm. Pretty sure it's like sparkling berries and something like that, but it smells amazing. It was really nice and fruity. Absolutely loved it. And then the last one I finished off is Champagne Apple and Honey. This is actually last year's packaging of this um, scent. So pretty. I love this gilded leaves design and then the sunflower lid. Scent notes are Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, and Jasmine Honey. This one is so good. It smells exactly like the body care. If you love the body care, you're going to love this candle. They did come out with it again this year. But I'm not going to pick it up um, because I already got through it and I... I got my enjoyment out of it. It's a really good September slash like early fall scent. Loved it. So really enjoyed all of those candles this month. This month, And then also I tried to get through some wax melts. So I did get through three. The first one is Vanilla Bean Buttercream from Scentsy. Amazing scent. Beautiful throw. Absolutely love it. It's awesome. We'll definitely be picking it up again. So good. The next one is Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla and Peach. This one was really yummy for summertime, spring and summer, because it's like peach with a bit of whipped cream. So good. Even my mom liked that one. She does, she's very picky. And then we have Sensational Strawberries and Cream along the same lines, not as creamy, um, more just like straight up berry. Definitely like artificial strawberry, like strawberry, it almost reminds me of Swiss rolls, like the, in, not Swiss rolls, um, the little Debbie rolls with the strawberry cream inside. That's what the strawberry smells like. It's artificial, but like in a good way. Mm, so yummy. So finished all of those up. 
And we'll just keep along the same lines for home fragrance. I finished off a uh, car scent portable. I think this was, I can't smell it at all. <laughs> something lemony i don't know but i have sun wash citrus in my car now <clears throat> and i can i can honestly not remember maybe it was champagne toast i think it might have been champagne toast and then i replaced all of our wallflower bulbs for this month um so the ones that are currently going i have sun drenched linen in the um garage downstairs and i think i had like alpine forest or something in there earlier something like super foresty i can't remember what it was but it was basically basically like trees <laughs> in the garage which is fine my dad literally can't smell anyways but it just helps us because it just makes everything smell better um and then i have honey crisp apple going in the bathroom downstairs and i think i replaced it from um another apple i think it was champagne apple and honey was in there and now we have a uh, honey crisp apple and that's the bathroom and then in the kitchen um i had the like funfetti cake one i can't remember what it was but it was like the cake uh the cake one from the summer this year um and i replaced it with pumpkin pecan waffles and you guys it smells so good in the kitchen downstairs so highly recommend that for a kitchen area um and then i guess we'll go hand soaps so i finished off in my bathroom vanilla coconut the scent notes are vanilla, sorry, whipped vanilla, peach blossom, and warm coconut. Really good for summer. I almost used it a little too long because September I was like not really going for coconut anymore, but it's fine. I finished it off. It was really yummy. Definitely would get it again next summer. Um, and then we finished off in the bathroom downstairs, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. This was a really good transitional scent. It's marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. So good. I picked this up last year too, and I picked it up again this year because it's just such an amazing like berry waffle cone scent. It's so, so good. So let's move into some body care. I finished off this mini body cream in pink berry clouds. This is one of the new scents. I don't have the scent notes on me, but I'm pretty sure it's um, berries and stuff. Really yummy scent. I don't think I'll get a full size, but I really enjoyed it while I had it. It was, it was very like strawberry y and then i finished off a brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel this was actually at ryan somebody had gifted it to him but i finished it off for him so really good i love sol de, sol de janeiro stuff smells amazing too overpriced but smells amazing and then i finished off a mini gillette satin care um shave gel nothing crazy I also finished off the Burt's Bees Honey and Grape Seed Hand Cream. This was really good and moisturizing. It left kind of an odd film on my hands though, so I probably won't repurchase it, but it smelled like honey. It was really good. Um, and then I have four pocket backs that I finished. Well, me and my mom finished. She actually finished off Oh Snap Merry Cookie. This is her favorite scent of all time. So I'll probably stock up again this Christmas if they come out with it again in the um, uh, pocket backs. I finished off Pineapple Prosecco. I had this one in my car for a while. Really good. I also finished off Honolulu Sun. I think this one was on my um, purse. Really good. And then I also finished off Pineapple Mango. Also really good and fresh. So that's it for that. A little random one. I have Degree Motion Sense Fresh Energy. This is my favorite um, line is the Motion Sense line. I really love it. Um, some skincare. I finished off the Mary Kay Timewise eye cream. Um, I really love this one. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was like really blinding. Um, I really love this one. Will we purchase? Um, I also finished off the Mary Kay Micellar Water. This is a new product actually from them and I really enjoyed it. You're not even supposed to use it in your eyes, but I did and I never had any problems with it. Um, and then I also finished off the Mary Kay Botanical Mask. It, this is like formula two meant for combination oily slash dry skin i have so many face masks like ones that you put on so i've been trying to get through those and then i also have a cause rx pimple patch set that i finished off from ulta i get this exclusively at ulta because they have the best price um and then i have a few hair things and that's it so first is love beauty and planet sulfate free shampoo scrub i've already repurchased two of these actually because it was so hard to find them um i usually try to get it at target because it's six dollars at target and it's ten dollars on amazon so but yeah this stuff is messy but it works and i have like dry patches on my scalp and it works so well i haven't had it for like three weeks and i already noticed a difference like my scalp is going back to having 
rough patches and like itchy scabs so i definitely need this and i'm gonna use it probably not tonight but tomorrow when i wash my hair and the last thing i finished off is this pravana intense therapy treating heal healing mask um, I got this in like a set from Ulta. It was like a hair set. I'm trying to go through a lot of my hair products because I literally had stashed it up for the past 15 years. So yeah, trying to get through a lot of my hair stuff. So I finally finished that and that was great. So that is everything that I finished off this month. I'm super proud of myself for finishing off four candles and even the wax melts because I usually don't finish those off very often. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this month's empties. Let me know down below some of the candles that you got through. Um, did you finally finish off all your uh, summer candles or are you saving some of them for next year? Let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.